Every athlete put too much attention in what the body is. We have two bodies. The physical body, just your muscles, your bones, everything where you possess, and the mental body. And that mental body give you the power, the support for the physical body to work. And inside the physical body, we have different systems. Those uh, systems works like a, the circulatory system, the respiratory system, digestive system. We have different systems. When you go to the mind body, the mind body has different systems too. And all those systems are the way they work. If you have a bad circulatory system in your body, you cannot run too much because you start to get out of breath really fast. And everything that you do in sports reflects the mentality you have. Where do you get your mentality? Since you're born. Since you're born, you start to create images, experiences, beliefs, values that give you the guidance how to be in this life. Plus, you're born with certain personality. You have personalities like the cover and core personality, but inside those personalities are two other personalities, like the blue and the red personality who are fighting all the time to have um, control over the situation. Depends which one get better results. If the blue personality get better results, then your personality is like the blue personality. But like every belief you have inside your mind need to have supports in order to have stability. All those programs you have inside your subconscious mind need to have a support. It's like a table. If the table has only one leg, has no support, and automatically the table will fall. The same happened in your mind, the same happened in your body. Exactly, you need support in every aspect, in every system you have inside your mind and inside your body. But the mind support the body, and the body support the mind. It's a little complex to understand that because you was concentrate only in your body. But 90% of the game in the sports is in your mind. It's in our mind. Depends on the support and the guidance. How do you understand the, the things they tell you? Inside you exists the paradigm. The problem is all those programs, all these beliefs, all these uh, experiences you have inside you who create who you are. You will understand the things certain way. Not everybody understands everything. If you are in the classroom and the teacher explains a subject, some students understand, but another ones don't have a clue. And it's not because they are not smart, it's because they have different way to perceive things. And the way the teacher explained was not helpful for them. For the other just right away understand. The same happened with your coach. The coach tried to express the ideas he has in his mind, but the way you perceive is a little bit different than sometimes the way he express the ideas. And if you clean your mind for all that trash you have inside for years and years of bad experience, your performance will be better. Paradigm optimization are 12 sessions to teach your mind to think correctly. In life, it's not about intensity. You can work out really aggressive, really hard, but that doesn't give you results. What give you results is with how much consistency you practice. The consistency of what you do. And be ready to change your paradigm. Need a little bit of effort, but you will do it.